ladies and gentlemen, to your first ever Pigskin Fantasy Cast update. I'm your host, Brady Sievers. And I'm Michael Langer. And we have quite the show for you today. Later on in our broadcast, we will be featuring your live 2012 draft picks shown for all you viewers at home. We will also have a comprehensive look at all teams, both veterans and newcomers, as well as the new updates for the Pigskin League this year and our look at our preseason pre-draft rankings by our fantasy experts. But before we look to where we're headed in the league, we look to our guest correspondent, Drew Jesse, who's out in the field, for a look at where we've been thus far. Hey guys, I'm in the field. Wait, what? You guys had a field! The draft is, right now, as we speak, being set up by our assistants in the other room. In the meantime, though, let's take a look at many of the different changes in the upcoming seasons of the Pigskin Fantasy League. As many of your owners should by now know, the buy-in has been increased to $20 per person. We hope this will increase activity and add a more enticing pot for owners everywhere. Additionally, the old running back slash wide receiver position has been changed slightly. This new position is known as the flex position, and in addition to those two positions, a tight end can now be used to supplement this. Many owners may choose not to, but more of our, some of our more crafty may choose to take advantage of this. One, that you, one change that you should all take advantage of is draft pick trading. This functions much in the same way as trading players, but it can only be done up to an hour before the draft officially starts. In this manner, you can get that first round pick that you've been trying to get that's higher than the one that you end up receiving, as you will find out later in this broadcast. So if you're attempting to get that first round pick, you can maybe trade a lower one, as well as a third round pick, in order to secure it. Additionally, home field advantage, which was much debated about, has been decided to stay consistent this year, with the only change being that in the Super Bowl, both teams will be at an even playing field with no five-point advantage for more regular season wins. Now in other news, on a slightly darker note, we have had a few owners who have left our league. Those owners include Connor Flynn, Eric Lemmel, Zach Almer, Nikki Donor, and Maria Wagner, and Ryan Bunnell. Rest in peace. However, on a brighter note, we have had a few new owners join the league. Those include Jessica Thompson, who is a female whose interest in football was previously unknown. So we're all excited to see what she has to offer this week and how she handles playing with the big boys. On another new owner that we have is John Galati. It is said that in the state of Washington, he is registered as a bro. I think we'll let that speak for itself. Now with the field set for our next season and the draft rapidly approaching, the Pigskin League's first ever preseason pre-draft rankings will be unveiled. Brought to you by our panel of fantasy experts. draft live. Let's go to our guest correspondents, Drew Jesse and Alex Sarugo, for the drawing of the names. And here we are, live at the 2012 Fantasy Football Draft. Drew, would you like to do the honors? I'm so nervous. Brady Stevens. As a known football fan and this league's commissioner, Many wonder why Brady ranked 7th last season. Our analysts seem to think he'll do better this year, but we'll just have to wait and see. Well, Brady screwed. Yes, <laughs> yes. And now, with the 11th pick... Jessica Thompson. As one of this year's rookies, Jessica has a lot to prove. However, her mere interest in joining the league might mean she'll be a force to be reckoned with. Break for the rookie. And with the 10th pick, Brandon Hessler. It seems that Brandon Hessler did not have a lot of confidence in his team last year. 
considering his team name incorporated sucking. Who knows though, maybe all that team needs is a change of name. Maybe try awesome or bro. And with the ninth pick in the draft, it is Allison Fikes. Many were wondering why Allison decided to rejoin this year after losing her talented co-owner Ryan Vanell. But the real question is, who is Ryan Vanell? Seriously, we have no idea. <sighs> and the eighth pick, Drew Jesse. It seems Mr. Jesse is making a battle pose, attempting to intimidate his foes with the flaring of his teeth. Who knows what potential his team has with such high dedication from an owner like that. Could have been better. And with the seventh, almost halfway there, Michael Lehner. If the zombies stumble back onto the scene this year with mo- Wait, this is weird. I can't talk about myself. I'm just gonna put up a meme or something. And with the six, top half, Bob and Bailey Seavers. With the amount of swag that this Seavers duo is flashing, the other teams in the league are going to have a difficult time attempting to dethrone last year's reigning champs. We have now reached the top five of the draft. Here we go, I'm still in. Uh, and the fifth pick, Garrett Holt. Dedication to the demise of another player is an admirable team trait. If Garrett keeps up his dedication to the failure of Brady Seavers, there's no telling where this middle-of-the-pack team will go this year. And the fourth pick, John Galati. Owners, there's reason to fear this newcomer. John Galati has spent entire days doing nothing but sleeping and watching football. Well, this is the top three, and I'm excited because I'm still in. So here we go. Aaron Temple. Although this is Aaron Temple's second season of fantasy football, most of our projectionists have him as last. Oh well, haters gonna hate. And now we're down to the final two teams in the draft. This is for the top spot. It's down to yours truly, Alex Rigo, and the last year's runner-up, Kevin Summer. Hugh Jesse, lead the way. And the second pick is Kevin Summer. The Ocelots destroyed almost every opponent they faced last year. Owners, guard yourselves. Kevin will be out for vengeance this year after having his championship stolen from Team Bad and the Super Bowl. I no joke, I'll take this pick. And with the first pick in the 2012 Fantasy Draft, it's... Alex Arugo! Oh my god, the crowd goes wild! With the top seed in the draft, there's no telling what havoc the ghosts will cause this year. Now we'll just have to see if the owner decides to stay up until 3 in the morning just to keep up with his team's progress. Whew! That was an exciting first live draft. What did you think, Brady? Please, all owners, keep in mind the fantasy draft trading and trading your different draft picks. I know I will. Anyway, that does conclude our very first live fantasy cast. But so you guys know, we will be having more of them as the season progresses, so stay tuned. Otherwise, I'm Michael Lehner, and I'm Brady Sievers. Until next time.